Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your creations that you've linked me on Modder.io. And for today we're looking at not one, but two from the Armoury Arms line. This thing that I'm currently driving is called the HLC-001, which is almost like a mini pod racer. And the other design is this one sitting right next to it, which is called the AAC-001 mini copter, which is a very tiny, almost helicopter-like design. It's just missing the propeller on top, which I suppose you could add easily fire a projector. But it features a Gatling gun to blast your enemies with, atmospheric thrusters for both the ships, and we do have small connectors hidden the way on there. There's one on the side. The one on this ship will be at the very back. And we do have plenty of power, so we can drive this around for a nice long time in survival mode. So pressing F10 and finding these in the spawn menu, the Armoury Arms, and there it is. We've got three of them right here, because there's quite a few of these in the design set. But we are looking at the AAC-1 Mini Copter, which is 103 small blocks. We see here it uses no DLC packs, no scripts, and it's just a small, fun mini helicopter designed for defense patrolling and, of course, for racing. Then, of course, the HLC-001, which is the orange ship, is 123 small blocks, once again using no DLC packs and no mods. But this one, unlike the other, which is a defense patrol craft, is a speeder that's great for driving around towards stations, between base to base, and, of course, scouting out new base locations if you want to do that. So giving both these a thumbs up, there we go, we can even give a thumbs up to that one. And we'll come around towards the very front of this orange one first of all, have a look around the outside, have a quick look around the outside of the minicopter right next to it, drive them both around for a bit, and then maybe just blow them up with a thermal nuclear warhead. So at the very front of the HLC-001, this is what we get. And that's a bunch of bright orange blocks with a couple black to break everything up. We've got an atmospheric thruster that helps slow this thing down, and if we were to move down slightly, we can see a few more atmospheric thrusters give us off the ground, and as well to move us on our left and right. If we were to pull up and move around onto the side, we can see how the side section where our spotlight is currently sitting behind some random blocks has been connected up to the main body, then all the way around over here, we can see Sneaky Gyroscope right below it. But there are two spotlights, one facing forwards, one facing backwards, and there's some black steel blocks right behind it. Moving on towards the main body, we can see that it's been connected up to a battery to give this thing a bit of power. There's our control seat to fly this thing around with a couple of armored panels to make sure you're nice and safe while getting inside it. Make sure your drinks and whatever you've got laying around doesn't rattle around while flying this thing. Then moving around towards the very back, we'll see another atmospheric thruster, plus our small connector to dock this thing up, and of course you recharge that battery. Moving all the way up and looking down, that's all we can see, so there's our seat, there's our battery, there's our atmospheric thrusters to keep us off the ground, and then there's the spotlights on the side there, on our lovely little side pods. Moving all the way down on this thing, past this section, there's both our atmospheric thrusters for our left and right, there's our gyroscope, and that is pretty much it for this one. Now if you were to come across over to the minicopter, so this one right here, this is what we get for this. So at the very front, we've got ourselves some lovely creamy skinned blocks and a Gatling gun to blast our enemies with. We can see a cargo container with a small connector strapped up to the gun, so we can easily load this up with ammunition if we need to. Move around onto this side, we will need to check out the orbs because it is different on both sides. But we can see in the pilot seat where I'm currently sitting, we've got our time of day and our artificial horizon, our power and hydrogen usage, and our meters per second. Yes, down here, there's our small connector going up to our gun. There's an atmospheric thruster to push this thing around. There's another large battery to give it a bit of power, with a couple of piston heads and some leather blocks to give it some decoration. Over here, it's a large atmospheric thruster to keep you off the ground. Then moving towards the very back here, a couple of wheels to go all the way across. There's some more atmospheric thrusters for your left and right. Move around towards the very back, not going to be able to see too much. Then onto the opposite side. Round over to here, past a larger atmospheric thruster. Then onto this section, this is what's different to the opposite side. So rather than having our battery, what we call is a conveyor cab, but once again, we do have our piston heads below there, which is covering up an atmospheric thruster. Behind the cab is going to be a reactor, so you can jump start the battery if you need to, and of course to give it some additional power. Moving away from this and looking down at it, there we go. So we see our battery, we see the tires going along towards the back. Then over to this section, there's another spotlight right next to our seat, where we were to get a bit closer, you can see what we saw just a second ago from an odd angle, but this is how it's been connected up. You just got a steel block surrounding the LCD screens that come across onto a little steel arm that then connects it up to the main body. And there we go. Just dropping down and coming underneath this, this is all we can see. So that's our container. There's a bunch of piston heads to make it nice and safe underneath there. Stop a little bit of damage from any kind of shots coming up from below you. There's the atmospheric thruster, and there's the very back. And there we go. That's a brief look around the outside of both these, and it looked great with how they've all been set up. 
I really like this one over here. This one's very sleek, very, very good for a racer design. And it's also very easy to upgrade because you can always remove the spot ice on the side, replace them with Ganning guns, replace them with auto cannons, or any other kind of weaponry you want on this. And there's also plenty of places all the way around it for you to attach on other stuff like an ore detector, an antenna, or any other kind of stuff that you can think of. Like round here on the battery, this is a prime place where you could strap on a ore detector if you want to, just have it sticking straight up on the side there, even attach it onto this section where the arm panel is sitting, or just on the back of that amateur thruster, if that's what you want. But yes, now what we can do is grab hold of one of these characters, it's going to be the orange one first of all, and just go through the controls. The controls are the same for both ships, we only need to go through one of them, but we will do a thruster test to see how they both handle. But yes, number one is going for our amateur thrusters all around the ship to turn them on and off. Number two, number three is for our thrust override so we can go to a cruise. Number four is for our spot ice at the front to turn them on and off. So we come around to here, press number four. There we go, that's on and off. And then number five is for our connector at the back there to lock and unlock it. And of course, if you really want to, eject everything else. And there we go. So yes, beans are both the same without doing a thruster test. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got some nice speed, thanks to that lone atmospheric thruster at the back there. And going back to what I said about customizing this ship, as you can see from the back of those little side pods on the side there, if you do want to have a lot more speed, a lot more acceleration, you could always strap on a couple more thrusters onto that, or even set up a hydrant thruster, if that's what you want. But yes, at the end of the day, it's perfectly suitable for exploring, and of course, scooting around in the world. Come to a stomp, that is what we get, we've got some nice speed so there's no risk of this while well, charging along towards the station and not stopping in time. Moving left, moving right, again some nice speed with that. Moving down, it's going to be gravity based, and then moving up, there we go, feels very well balanced all the way around this. As for gyroscope controls, this is what we get, a nice little control over this, a little bit of weight so it's not too floaty, and well, certainly what I prefer when it comes to a small ship. So now what I've got to do is switch over to the other one by pressing F6. Now I can just pop into this character and drive this one around. So moving forwards, it feels just about the same as the other one that we were just in. Come to a stop, feels a little bit slower so you will have to watch out about flying towards the station. But, because we have a large amateur thruster on this, you can always tilt it back to sort yourself a lot quicker. Anyway, moving left. Moving right, we've got some nice speed with that. Moving down is once again gravity based. And moving up should be the fastest thing out of everything because it is a large atmospheric thruster, and yes it is. And then as for drive controls, a nice sort of control over this feels very similar to the other one, and well, just like the other one, certainly suits the size of ship. But now what we're going to do is now bring them both together, I'm going to drop a thermal nuclear warhead between them and see if any of them survive. But I won't do it right next to them, put it fairly close by, and see if any of them can actually survive it. And here we go to finish off this video, what I've done is place a thermal nuclear warhead on the ground there, you might be able to make out in the green, but there are the two ships, and any second now it's going to explode, and there we go, my god that was loud, I have to take my headphones off for that. Christ, I always forget how loud this is, and how big it is, we're going to free camera, it's just a massive explosion, but do you think any of the ships survived? Well by pressing F6 I can find my characters. And there's one of them right there, no ship to be found, what about the other character? And he is now on the ground. I don't think any of them survived, which, well, it's not too surprising, but it would be fun one day to find a ship that is immune to this warhead. But today is not that day, although there is something up there, what is that? What is that? Oh yeah, that's my other character. Anyway, yes, that is that for this video, for the two ships, the HLC-001, the AAC-001 Mini Compter. There'll be a link to the description below if you wish to download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.